Yeah, you prepare all week for the big game. The teams, the players that you thought were very fast are even faster. And then when you get out there, you knew that they was hitting hard, but they're hitting even harder. Duke Grand Sports Network presents AAYFA football. 14 U Severn Seminoles versus the 14U Brooklyn Park Broncos. This broadcast is co-sponsored by iDetail Maryland, Maryland's top auto detailer. IDM comes to you, just give them a call at 410-635-0471 and you will not be disappointed. Other co-sponsor is House of Kebab. If you want some sure enough tasty kebab, go by go to the House of Kebab at 8025 Harford Road in Parkville, Mount. And the teams are in the center of the field ready to get this thing started. And here, the Broncos will receive the kickoff from the Seminoles and they have it and down and they're ready for business. And you see number 24 gets the ball but he is rattled and thrown for a loss of about three yards. Here, they go again, right up the gut and again that defense of the Seminoles is all over. Not giving up anything easy and here again, number 27, no more luck. This is a tough defense that they're going against. And they look like they were trying to punt the ball with number four. And the Seminoles will take over on downs. Here, number 16, that talented quarterback goes right up the middle to number 35 and he gets about four yards. Here, they go again. This time on the left side, but number 35 is met and down. Great play. Here's number 16. He got a nice little move and number 12 is dashing and he is smacked down. But after a first down, here they go to 16 again. And he is, oh, and the ball was tipped. And it goes to number 10 and he is dashing down the sideline into the end zone for a touchdown. Great play by number 10. Wow, just like that. The extra point is good. Leaving the score. Seminoles eight and Broncos nothing. And the ball goes to the Broncos. And they're going to have to answer. And here, the Broncos go to the screen pass. And they've got a little room, but not a whole lot. They go back, number four, back to pass again. A nice little comeback for number 10, but just for a few yards. Didn't really make an impact here. Number 10 goes deep, and he's got a man out there. Touchdown. What a great play. Just as soon as he got behind, watch this again in reverse action, slow motion. As you see, the receiver gets behind the defense. And once he got that, he turned on the burners and he is gone. Number 21 of the Broncos. And just like that, the Broncos are right back in it. The extra point is no good. Leaving the score, Seminoles 8 and the Broncos 6. And the Seminoles go right back to work again this time they go to number 34 for just a couple they like to go right up the middle they seem to have found a home and they like to pound their opponents here you see numbers 18 and he goes straight up the gut and he looks like he may go for a touchdown but it looks like there is yes there is a penalty and this one is coming back that was a nice play but here they go again, this time number 18, he's still just rambling and scrambling. He is one of those, you know, one of those backs that you like to see. In case you want to know, this is home field advantage. This is what this looks like. Anybody who has this kind of support has got to be a great program. Here you see number 34 and he just bounces his way in. This Bronco team is going to have to stiffen up. Because these Seminoles are going right for the gut. They, it's like a heavyweight fighter who likes to go to the body. But they're picked off 
gear by number 10 and he has got some room and just scattering his way and is down and again number four set looks to go up top he looks like he's got a man but it is out of bounds and the ball goes right back to the Seminoles and they go to number eight on the screen and he doesn't get watched. This deep, the defenses on both teams are taking over as you see number 16 dragged down. Nice sack by the Bronco. But they keep coming. This Seminole team doesn't stop. They go right to the, they believe in running the football up the gut as you see number 18 as he's blasted. But they keep coming. It doesn't matter. They have a philosophy and they stick to it. But here, number 16 goes up top and it's picked off. And it's just before the half and it's halftime score. Seminoles 8, Broncos 6. I get it. You don't have time to get your car detailed. You don't have time to go all the way out somewhere and wait for somebody to detail your car. But here, you don't have to do nothing at IDM. They come to you. Just make them a call at 410-635-0471 and you will be good to go. And the Seminoles will receive the second half kickoff and they are underway. And they secure the ball at about midfield with good field position. Here, number 16 goes to number 18 again and he has stood up at the line of scrimmage. This is a tough defense that they are going against. But they keep coming. They have a philosophy. And here the ball is loose. But the Seminoles get it back. That was a big scare for the Seminoles. Here, number 18. A late, he's got some nice moves for a quarterback. Look at him dancing his way in the outside. We are seeing a stellar performance by two really tough defensive teams. As you see. Neither team seems to be getting a whole lot in here. Number 16 again, pounding. But they keep coming. And here, nice zip pass, but it's taken by number 10. And he is wrestled down. Here, they look to go up top again. And it's a long pass, but it's incomplete and out of bounds. Here they go again, trying to get something going on the ground, but they are stopped. And number 16 keeps going. He is looking downfield, trying to find a man, and it is almost picked off. And the Broncos are trying to get something going to even this thing up. And here they go to the swing pass and get some good yardage with the receiver stepped out of bounds and here this is home field advantage folks this is what you see when you see home field advantage if you don't know what it is come to Bronco land and you will be able to see it as you see they dance their way into the end zone for a touchdown watch this play as they go for the extra point wonderful throw and catch and it is good and just like that the Broncos have taken the lead and they give the ball the short kick and number 28 is moving here they go to 35 they go straight up the gut they are determined to go right up the middle this is what they do you see number 18 they just keep coming and after a while it's like a heavyweight fight when a fighter is hitting you to the body after a while it takes its toll and you see the body punches that they're throwing number 35 just straight up the guy just tying you out just one after another here you see number 18 he runs with an attitude he runs like he got a, he, he like he don't want nobody in front of him here he's just about to the goal line here you see number 35 and he dashes his way into the end zone for a touchdown this the extra point is no good leaving the score Seminoles 14 Broncos 13 this is a tight nip and tuck game by two very talented football teams and here 
The Broncos get it back and they're determined to do something about it and get themselves back on top. Here you see number 21. He's just got a few. And here, they go up top, but it looks like it was out of bounds. The number five. Soon this is going to be too late. And this Seminoles got the ball, and they are just pounding the ball. Just pounding them. Going inside makes great success. And you can see they do it again. Just pounding them. Keep going inside. Keep going inside. Keep moving this football. Here you see 34. He pounds his way straight up the middle. This is, they're finding a home right in that middle because you can see that they are starting to take over. This offensive line and these backs are just pounding. They don't care. Three yards and a cloud of dust. They don't care. They just gonna keep doing it. And that's one of those things where they say, we're going to keep doing it till you stop us. And if you can't stop us, you can't beat us. And here, you see them again. They are knocking on the door. Going again straight up the gut. Just straight up the gut. And here, they go again and go in for a touchdown. And that will end the game as the seminal. Take a 20 to 13 victory over the Broncos. And today's House of Kabob play of the game goes to the 50 yard bomb from number 16 to number 10 of the Southern Seminoles, which resulted in a touchdown. And we are Duke Grand Sports Network, the time capsule you sports moments and the home of the baddest young dudes in sports.